హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ శ్రీనివాస్ మూర్తి టీఎం అండ్ సీనియర్ ఈఎన్టి కన్సల్టెంట్ ప్రాక్టీసింగ్ అట్ యశ్వంత్పూర్ ఐ ప్రాక్టీస్ బోత్ అట్ కొలంబియా ఏషియా రెఫరల్ హాస్పిటల్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ అట్ మై క్లినిక్ కాల్డ్ శ్రీనివాస్ స్పెషాలిటీ ఈఎన్టి సెంటర్ వెన్ వీ లుక్ అట్ ఎ పర్సన్స్ త్రోట్ um we generally ask them to open the mouth and then visualize it with illumination and keeping the tongue away by using a tongue depressor we expect to see the mucosa to be pink and by and large smooth uh, on the cheeks on the palate the soft palate as well as the wall behind the throat which we call as the posterior pharyngeal wall now in between there can be some irregularities especially on the tongue because the tongue has taste buds they, they it uh, the surface of the tongue will look a little bit irregular we can also have certain lymphoid tissues uh, on the posterior pharyngeal wall or the back of the throat like the tonsil and uh, this can occasionally become a little bit um, inflamed secondary to allergy or infection and then cause some red spots or granules or granulations uh, this is generally the feature that we observe but a normal person should have a pinkish looking mucosa now what is the snail track that we see or a snail trail that we see in the back of the throat now if we see uh, a snail trail i mean imagine a snail making its movement over a wet sand that's the kind of trail that is left behind and if we see something similar on the back portion of your throat then we describe it as a snail track or a snail trail so this signifies that the patient has had a few problems in the upper respiratory tract now what does it mean he could be breathing through the mouth because his nose gets blocked frequently or he will be having nose block with secondary post nasal drip that means his sinuses are getting infected the infected uh, material from the sinuses and the nose is dripping from the back of the nose into the throat causing the lymphoid tissues to swell up and the tissue in between two lymphoid tissues will act like a trail and on that because uh, the infected material keeps trailing on that area that color will be a little bit different compared to the inflamed lymphoid tissues so if i see a snail trail in somebody's uh, throat i would be looking for um, nasal problems and sinus problem 